Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome to Self Care for Hot Girls, a presentation on self care for hot girlies. Hot girl summer is a coming up, and we want to feel our absolute best. This is also a video for those girlies who are feeling burnt out. I know that I am. So I made this little presentation to help with self-care. This is part of my personal Road to Recovery series where we talk about growing and becoming a better person and getting through mental health crisis, uh, which is PTSD and seizures for me. So that is basically that. Look how cute the chipmunk is and let's just hop right into it. In this self-care presentation we are going to be covering physical slow mental flow and spiritual growth these are three points that i have in fact made up so let's hop into them so physical slow what does that mean so this is taking care of your body and making sure that you go as slow as you possibly can through life basically it's taking your time and making routines your own so that could be things like having walks in nature if you're fortunate enough to be near nature if not driving up to your local park or beach or forest and taking a slow walk really helps to ground you and your body in the present especially if you have spaced out times like i do um eating grapes i like grapes if you like vegetables you can go home on the head vegetables <laughs> I like grapes. So that's why I got a little picture of the grapes up in there. Um, you can listen to music or podcasts that help center you and feel more in the present as well. And also there's taking naps, uh, having snuggle time, getting your favorite fluffy blanket and your squishy toy and just having a great old time. Some more physical self-care. We've got the walks in nature. Drink water. Don't be a dehydrated noodle. We don't want dehydrated noodles, not in 2022. Eating your little fruit snacks, naps, or three healing breaths. So that is kind of a simple breath work of just breathe in through your belly and out. Just three of them really helps kind of refocus your body and reset to continue on. Okay, here we have mental flow. What's that? Uh, it's kind of guiding your mind into a state of flow, whether that be through creativity and mindfulness techniques. So we've got getting creative and remember your priorities. So it is about, mental flow is about getting creative and also having your priorities, which is what I just said. Um, but that basically is setting your intentions, setting your vision boards, um, doing your affirmations, journaling, not having your phone on you at all times, having that social media detox when you need to. So mental flow is basically having the least amount of distractions possible so you can get into a state of flow. The state of flow being, uh, for me, when I make music, I get into a state of flow where the passage of time is kind of non-existent and you are literally in the space, in the flow, and that is, that's what the new Disney movie Soul is about. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but that they talk about the state of flow in that movie as well. So mental flow is allowing space for your brain to be creative and be that amazing, creative, amazing, super cool person that you are. How many times can you say amazing? So more mental self-care, you have your brain dump, getting all out, thoughts onto paper. My thoughts personally, I know that I get really scatty brain sometimes and it really helps if I write things down and could be like, set an appointment with the dentist, buy some Easter eggs, uh, get mum a present, stuff like that. Just getting everything, every thought in your nooks and crannies out onto the page and just going, Bleh, that's what I need to do. And then you visually can see everything and it's not taking up lots of space that you don't need it to. Um, we have the vision boards and the prioritizing. I have my vision board on my phone background. Um, I like to have mine in a space that I'm going to look at it all the time. So that's just my personal one. Um, I know people have the cork board ones. Uh, just some, just put your vision board somewhere that you're going to see it and go, oh, 
yes, that's what I want to do. Especially if you wake up feeling a bit meh, I don't really want to. You're subconsciously looking at it all the time and that is flowing and going into the brain, even if you don't realise it. We have slash prioritising. So sometimes in our day-to-day lives, you know, when we have work and it's super busy, you're not necessarily going to be thinking about getting down to the gym if you're a gym girl. Or for me, like, I'm not going to be thinking about get, making sure that I make time to get into the studio and make some music. So it's all about like, okay, what am I actually trying to do? And then you kind of reverse engineer it back to what little steps can I take today to get kind of over there into the state of flow that I want to be in, which is a really hard balance when you have big goals, but you also know that you need to be patient and that is always going to clash like this. So it's kind of when you realize that you're a bit like, ah, inner critic is going crazy. Just stop, take a second, take some breaths, maybe take a phone break. And at the bottom, chillaxing, girly, you have time. You have time and it's okay. All right, moving on. Spiritual growth. Uh, I understand not everyone's going to be spiritual, but I am a bit of a spiritual girly. So this is for my spiritual girlies right here. Spiritual growth, maintaining your spiritual practices, whether that be your Bible study, your prayer, your guided meditations, your crystal practices, whatever that looks like for you, you do you. Okay. Um, in spiritual practices, we have things like prayer. You have your morning meditations, your morning affirmations, your intention setting. And that is not just intention for the day or for the week, for the year. That's how you want to be as a person. Who do you want to show up as today? Um, and then you have spending time on these practices. Okay. So obviously these practices will develop over years and years and years. So it's kind of going, okay, this is how I want to show up for this practice today. And I want to show up to the best version of myself today or today you might wake up and go I don't know if I can show up to the best version of myself today but I'm gonna give it a go especially if you're feeling burnt out you might not feel like showing up as your best version of yourself so it's okay to just show up just showing up is enough and that is the end of my self-care presentation okay self-care wrap-up Everyone's self-care diff- Hello? Everyone's self-care will look different. Everyone is on their own journey and that's okay. That's kind of, for me, it's inspiring. It's going, okay, I'm not alone and also I'm in the right place. It is going to take time to get to where I want to be and I like to enjoy the process of going and flowing and growing. Go at your own pace. Yes, okay, so maybe some days you're really- on it and you're like yeah I can do all of the things maybe the next day you might feel a bit burnt out and stressed and you're not gonna feel the same go at your own pace and be kind and gentle with yourself and also do what works for you you're not gonna do every single self-care habit ever and for me I would always be like I'm gonna join the 5am club and I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna start running and then like it's not realistic for me so do what works for you and that might be experimenting with different things trying things out and going, actually, I really know that I'm going to hate running, so I'm not going to start running, you know, do what works for you, you can always change it up, you can always switch it up later if you get bored, but yeah, that is my presentation, thank you so much for watching the Road to Recovery episode 2, please comment what you want to see next, because, I want to make some more content. I don't know what to make, to be fair. So we're just experimenting right now. So yeah, that is all I have for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you want. Hit the like button if you want. That really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Helena. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.